Well, the sequel to the blockbuster movie Anchorman hits theaters next month, but right now the original one is taking a place alongside some actual news history. That's right. Nancy Cordes is at the museum in Washington. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nora, Charlie, and Gail. Well, nobody keeps it classier behind the anchor desk than you guys, but Ron Burgundy did set the standard. This is the actual burgundy suit he wore in the movie right behind me. The mustache brush is right around the corner, along with about 60 other props. This is a big departure for the museum, which normally tackles hard-hitting subjects like civil rights and war reporting. Stop what you're doing and listen. Cannonball! The nation's most pompous local news anchor sauntered into theaters nearly 10 years ago, leaving behind a host of memorable lines. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm kind of a big deal. I love scotch. I love scotch. Scotch is got scotch. Now Will Farrell's favorite character has found a place in the nation's premier journalism museum. I think pop culture, and this movie is a pop culture phenomenon, is a really legitimate part of the mix of storytelling that we do here. Kathy Trost curated the exhibit. And this is the famous jazz flute, Ron's jazz flute. Let's go! Reporter in the field, Brian Fontana's special cologne. It's called Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. It's quite pungent. It's on display here. So is the whip. Yeah, yeah. Used in one of the movie's most famous scenes, the ratings war. San Diego's rival news teams have a rumble in a parking lot, uh, face off, and uh, there's great damage that occurs. And of course, Luke Wilson loses an arm. <laughs> Veronica Corningstone's 70s power suits have also been preserved. I love that all her lapels are like out to here. <laughs> but behind the humor, the exhibit addresses a serious issue. It is anchor man, not anchor lady. Yes. Women breaking news barriers. It really was a time when uh, women were fighting for equality on the news desk. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Ron Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> And they do have some examples here in the exhibit of the way some women were treated in newsrooms back in the 70s. One was told, Nora, Charlie, and Gail, that she should smoke cigarettes and drink whiskey so that her voice would sound lower, <laughs> a little more like a man's. Oh. <laughs> we're glad those days are over. Thank you, Nancy Cordes. Good to see you. Saw the first Anchorman. Should we go see the second? Absolutely. It's, it's humorous. It is, it is jarring, though, when I saw that this exhibit was at the museum, mm -hmm. you know, about a fake show. Yeah.